have a lot of sheets to cut out. And then when I got closer to the end of it, I started thinking like, is this worth it? <laughs> you guys, it broke. Welcome back to another Studio Vlog. It is Tuesday, January 9th, and this week we have a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff to do. I have decided that Mondays I'm not going to film. I'm going to use that day to catch up on stuff and also just do whatever I need to do, whether it be related to small business or just a day to chill out. So from now on, I will most likely just film four days a week. If it's something like Artist Alley Prep, that would most likely be the entire week. But mostly Mondays would be a day that I use for myself. Yesterday, I ended up using that day. So yesterday, I ended up making, yesterday I ended up making a bunch of files and everything that I need to create the Spring B collection. So that's the collection I'm hoping to put out sometime mid-February after the mini Quebec City Comic Con. I'm making a magnetic bookmark to make backing cards for the acrylic charms. I need to check the acrylic charms. I also need to make the die cut sticker for that. I want to make notepads and memo pads. A lot of stationery that I haven't made in a very long time because making memo pads and notepads take a very long time if you don't have a heavy duty paper cutter but today i want to make those spring the die cut stickers the magnetic bookmarks cut out the backing cards and everything so yeah let's get started <laughs> Just finished eating lunch. I was really, really hungry, but now I'm feeling a whole lot better. Everything that I wanted to cut for today is cut. Now the only thing we need to do is to prepare the magnetic bookmarks to hopefully get those done. My husband and I are planning to go to Michael's after he's done with the work. I need to go buy more of the cardstock that I use for my backing cards because I also use that for the backing for my memo pads and my notepads. So let's make the magnetic bookmarks so hopefully I can get it done pretty quick.
It is Wednesday, January 10th. Yesterday evening, we had a really, really crazy snowstorm and it's still going on today. We were gonna go to Michael's, but then my husband was worried that the snowstorm would happen when we were out. So I decided just to order what I needed off of Amazon and that works for me. I should get this stuff by Friday. Unfortunately, very soon we have to go out and shovel the snow around the car in the parking area where we're at and it sucks yesterday evening after i finished everything i wanted to do i decided to do needle punching do you call it needle punching or punch needling i say needle punch because i think it sounds better but it's the same thing i've been wanting to do some more crafty stuff and in december i had wanted to do it then but then i ended up being more busy than I thought I would be. It's the holidays, you're gonna go see family you haven't seen in a while, a lot of get togethers and so on, and I didn't take that into account. But yesterday evening, I finished everything before dinner, and I decided to do it. And I made this super, super cute and adorable bee wall decor. It's super cute. I'm surprised I remember everything. It was a lot of fun and I'll probably do some more. The goals for today is to one, prepare the Pendle Club goodie. I am waiting for the cardstock to come in. I might have a small piece of cardstock actually. That's the heavier cardstock. I think I have a piece that I can actually use to cut the outline. And after that, I want to start prepping keychains. So I was planning to do a live stream on Friday where I was going to prep them, but with the sunflower keychains, those take a lot longer to do. So I don't want the whole stream to just be me killing the plastic thing. So yeah, let's get started. Here is the current situation. I have a lot of sheets to cut out. All the paper that has been cut so far. We have the Captain Froggle Mama Pad. I haven't made these since the beginning of last year, last January. So I only made these, I think once. I don't know, I'll have to double check. This is a pencil club goodie for this month. I think it's super cute. On the pencil, you can write your to-dos. At the bottom here, you can write your notes. And then there's a little Jamie stamp in the corner saying, let's do this. So Jamie's motivating you to get things done. It's currently 2.48, so I'm hoping by the time it reaches five o'clock, I'll be at a better spot or mostly done. There's quite a bit of stuff to cut and I still need to print the rainy day memo pads stationary and like memo pads no pads in general usually take me a while to sell so just having like five or so is more than enough for the no pads I'm only making two because those take even longer to sell than the memo pads I'm planning to stop at five because I'm also trying to work on the life and work balance thing I'm gonna keep going and I'll see how far I get and once we get there I'll update you on the progress it is 4 44 p.m 
I just finished cutting out everything that Planted cut out for today. Here are all the stacks for all the goodies. It's all the paper I cut today. It's going to recycling. I'm proud of myself for getting it all done. I have to admit that near the end of it, I was starting to lose steam and feel unmotivated, but it's finally all done. Everything I had planned to make stationary wise, it's all cut. Now I just have to put them together when I get the car stock. So that's really exciting. That's just less time. So I'm really happy that I took the day to do that. And I will go through it to let you guys know exactly how many notepads and memo pads I was able to make. I'm so tired just walking back and forth. Yesterday I didn't finish off the day because I ended up working about two more hours after dinner because I started thinking a lot more about making stationery at home. In 2023, one of my goals was to make more stationery goodies and I did do that in January when I made the rainy day memo pad, I made a rainy day daily planner I believe. Also made the idea of the pond memo pad and notepad. And that was the only time I made them in January because then I realized it takes way too long to make them. And I know I was thinking the same thing yesterday. Yesterday I had a good start. And then when I got closer to the end of it, I started thinking like, is this worth it? <laughs> I love designing all this stuff. I was thinking about if I want to keep this up, what are the best ways to keep up with it? So one of the things I thought about was I would be dropping how many sheets are in each item. Before my memo pads had 30, then I upped it to 35. I'm dropping it back down to 30 sheets. For notepads, I don't have that much experience with it, but I believe I also had 35 sheets in them last year. I'm dropping it down to 25 sheets. 25 sheets or 50 sheets is usually the standard for notepads when you're trying to get it manufactured anyway. And I have looked into getting those products manufactured but they cost a lot of money so that means that if I went with the minimum quantity I can order for 25 sheets for example I would have to charge quite a bit of money for it I will also have to up the price of the stationary goodies as much as I do not like having to do that I feel like that's the only way for me to see that it's worth making them at home I pretty much worked a 9 to 5 yesterday and this is just cutting all the sheets out and I haven't even assembled the notepads and memo pads together. So let me show you what I was able to create yesterday. Here's everything we made yesterday. In total, I made 18 stationary goodies. We have six Captain Frogo memo pads, three rainy days, three Pendle Club goodies, three Spring Bee notepads, and three Idea of the Pond notepads. I'm going to put most of it away because I still have to wait for the heavyweight cardstock to come in. But I'm going to go ahead and make the Pendle Club goodie, and I'm also going to make the Idea of the Pond ones that I have enough backing for. And then after that, I need to figure out my live stream setup. I kind of have it set up um, last week when I was trying to figure it out, but I have to kind of finalize it because I'm planning to live stream tomorrow. So yeah, let's get started.
So not gonna lie, that was rough. <laughs> for tomorrow's live stream, I was thinking about doing preparation for my keychains. I haven't gone through them or anything. I probably should do it. But I also thought about just switching it to a more chill stream. But I just work on February's Patreon art. I already have the theme. The flat colors are ready to go. And I started rendering last night. So I'm really happy with how it is so far. I'm excited. Can't wait to show you guys and let you guys know what it is. But I think I'll just go with the keychains as planned. Because I, I really, really need to go through them. So let me show you what I'm going to try for the live stream setup. So this is how the setup looks like. I have my products out here because I'm about to take a photo as a thumbnail. I have my phone here that's going to be my camera. I'm using a program called Prism Live Studio. There's my webcam and I just have a little bit of information about my next Comic Con right here. It's going to be where you see me do the prop for the acrylic keychains. I'm able to use my phone as the camera because I scanned a QR code that goes with the program called Prism Lens. So by scanning the QR code, my phone gets connected to the live streaming platform. So hopefully my phone doesn't die. <laughs> I have to make sure my phone is charged when I go live. And then I have my microphone here. So hopefully everything goes well tomorrow. All the furniture was wrapped up and things are stuck. It is Friday, January 12th. I just finished posting the Pedal Club Giddy on Patreon, Instagram, and YouTube. And I'm happy that that's finally done. So now I just have to wait for the live stream. A day or two ago, I told you guys that I ordered the cardstock that I needed to make the backings for my mobile pads and for whatever. And unfortunately, I ended up somehow ordering the wrong thing. It was the lighter weight cardstock, which is 65 pounds, and there was only 15 sheets in there. So I will be shipping that back. I did a little bit of changes for my stream setup. So let me show you guys what I ended up doing. So I have two pink bins now. This one's going to be the wall with the keychains that I'm already propped. This is my backing cards and all the keychains that I need to prop is right here. I have this bin for trash. Then I have these for the sunflower keychains. And then I also have my lighter here. Yesterday I showed my tripod being right here. But then I was thinking about it more yesterday. And if I'm doing stuff on my mat here, my right hand will be blocking a lot of the things that I'm doing. So instead, it's going to be on the right side, like literally near this trash can on the right side of me. So that way it's like looking down, like literally close to here like this <laughs> sorry for the weird angle but it'd be somewhat similar to this and then my right hand won't be blocking everything and you'll see it a lot better this is my tripod here and this is literally how tall it'll be so like this whole left side of me i have to be careful because if i bump into it i'll just ruin everything the tripod here has a phone attachment which thankfully fits into the attachment i got this attachment when i ordered my last tripod this would be the first time i am using my phone as the main camera so i'm not exactly sure how it's gonna go i hope that it'll be okay i uh, also am not sure how long the phone will last so the stream will last however long the phone lasts. I'm hoping that it will last at least an hour to an hour and a half. This is my first time doing an evening stream, so I just want to test to see how it goes. I did get it 50-50 when I asked if people wanted it at 2 p.m. or at 6 to 7 p.m. And it was pretty much half and half if you put together the votes on YouTube and on my Instagram stories. I'll let you guys know how the live stream went tomorrow. I think the most scary thing about doing a live is that you have to be someone who has things to talk about because it's so weird to do a live and then not have anything to talk about. That's the thing that scares me the most. Okay, so hopefully this one doesn't take forever to put together. This one 
Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, awesome. Spin test. This one's okay. It's not too bad. This one spins really, 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 really good. Like, he's still going. Look at that. The last one. I'm so excited to finally have these put together. You guys, it broke. <laughs> it broke. What? This is how it looks like after the live stream. I only managed to do the sunflower keychains. There were some little oopsies that we had. We had some oopsies here, like this one. It completely fell apart, so I need to see if I can fix it somehow. And for this one, one of the froggos didn't have the plastic that usually comes with it. So it has the stickiness from the foam sticky thing they use to keep them together so i need to get that off of there before i attach them these are the keychains that i have left to go through here's my little trash bin that i used to make sure like i don't have everything all in the way of course i have some stuff in front of it and then i need to fix up my desk i moved everything over so i can have these two bins here thank you so much to everyone who came to the live stream you guys made it a really really fun and successful first live stream of the year it's probably the most viewers i've had during one since i started trying to do them last year so i really appreciate that you took your time out of your friday evening to be with me it was a lot of fun to talk and be productive at the same time it's fun to have other people there when you're doing work sometimes depending on how your small business is it can get a little lonely i mean i have a husband of course but once in a while, you like to talk to other people, other artists, other small business owners who are doing the same thing. So it was really, really nice to do that. And thank you to anyone who took the time to watch any part of the vlog after it was finished. I know that there's not a really good time for everyone to be there at the same time. It looks like the evening stream was pretty popular, so I might consider just keeping them at evening streams, but we will see. That'll be it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.